As Democratic state lawmakers remain in Washington tonight trying to avoid votes back home on Republican-backed election reform legislation. This comes as the GOP is bashing President Biden's comments yesterday, accusing Republicans of trying to subvert the election process, an assault, he said, on the democracy. White House correspondent Peter Ducey has details live tonight from the North Lawn. Good evening, Peter. Good evening, Brett. There are new questions about when Democrats like the filibuster and when Democrats don't like it. For example, here in Washington, D.C., Democrats are in the Senate majority. They don't need it, and they're talking about maybe getting rid of it. But those Texas Democrats are in the minority there, and their trip to D.C. amounts to a filibuster. We are going to stay out until the session is over to kill this bill. That could be weeks. Who is paying for all of this? All this is entirely uh, funded through donations. So specifics about donors remain unknown, even though a big part of that federal bill these Texas Democrats are lobbying for is transparency. The For the People Act is about ensuring the freedom of people to vote, getting dark money out of politics. The For the People Act is the federal law President Biden hopes stops states from tightening voting regulations. Bullies and merchants of fear, peddlers of lies, are threatening the very foundation of our country. Top Republicans are balking at the historical parallels. These false comparisons are an insult to the actual hurdles that Americans have overcome. The co-founder of Black Voters Matter was hoping to hear the president say in that big speech he'd get rid of the filibuster if it meant passing voting rights legislation, but the president didn't say it. So Cliff Albright tweets the speech was an epic fail. White House officials want any calls about removing the filibuster to be made by senators. It's up to them to vote on what their processes will be moving forward. Some Republicans are skeptical the voting rights bill favored by Democrats is about access to polls at all. It is designed to keep Democrats in power the next hundred years. The filibuster was defended by Senator Biden when he represented Delaware, but times are changing. And so, too, are tactics like the ones being used by the runaway Texas Democrats. Do you know any of any examples from his 36 years in the Senate that Joe Biden just hopped on a train and left town to avoid a vote that he knew he was going to lose? Welcome back. Um, <laughs> look, I think that the president's view is that um, these Texas legislators uh, were making a statement uh, through action. So the president there is supportive of these Democrats leaving the state, even though he ran on a platform of being a bipartisan dealmaker. Tomorrow, another campaign promise he made is going to be tested that he can patch up relationships with America's allies, and that'll happen when the German chancellor Angela Merkel comes here. Brett? Whenever you get the welcome back, that's a good sign. Peter, thank you. <laughs>